Hi everyone, I'm Dez from Sincerely Av and Dez, and today we're going to be doing another blush haul. I know you're what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh great, another blush haul. Is that all you make, Desi? Is that all you do with your life? And the answer is yes, that's all I do with my life. Anyways, going on with this blush haul thing, most of it is actually Christmas stuff that I got two days ago. And another half of it is like stuff that I ordered during the fall season. So I'm just gonna get started. You know the drill. I say what it is, I say what it does, I say what it smells like, and I'm all happy. Okay, moving on. My first product is Rub Rub Rub, which is a body scrub, and it smells amazing. I actually got a sample of this at some point when I went to the store in Danbury, and it is so pretty. They put it on my hands and like I scrubbed it with some water and my hands are so soft now. It smells like limes and lemons and it has like sea salt in it and jasmine. It is just amazing and it's so colorful. Like who wouldn't love that? And my hands are so soft like after you use this like if I had a guy to hold my hand he'd be like Dear, your hands are the softest hands that I've ever felt. And I'd be like, thanks, dude. And that would be great, wouldn't it? This is made by Raya, so I'm very happy and thankful, Raya. It smells great. It's actually one of my favorites. I use it a lot just for my hands, even though you can use it for, like, your whole body if you want. Like, so you can scrub, like, your upper arms and whatnot. Our next product is Sympathy for the Skin, and this product is actually named after the song Sympathy for the Devil. It is made with bananas and vanilla pot infusions, and it smells really good. Like, it doesn't smell like bananas, though. Like, they highlighted bananas as, like, the main ingredient, but it doesn't really smell like them. It smells more like vanilla ice cream, which I really like. And it has, like little black dots in it from like the bananas in it too. I don't know. I really like it. It feels really nice on your hands and skin and stuff. And it's not like too greasy to where like you don't, you know, it's all like slimy and gross. This is made by Sarah. So I'd like to thank you Sarah for making me this lovely pot of lotion. I don't know why I got a British accent when I thank people sometimes. Anyways, the next thing I have is from the Christmas line, and it is Snow Fairy. This thing is like famous for Lush, like it's a cult favorite kind of thing like that. There are people like on that site that would kill for this, and that's disturbing. But, I mean it smells pretty good. When I first smelled it, I really didn't like it. I was expecting like, oh it's gonna be marvelous, everyone loves this stuff. And I'm like, ooh, it smells like licorice almost like a box of good and plenty's or Mike and Ike's and stuff like that it just doesn't smell very good but then like once you use it in the shower it smells amazing it smells like bubble gum and cotton candy which is what it's supposed to smell like that everyone says it smells like I don't know why the first whiff I get of it it's like licorice um on the other hand it has glitter in it you see all like that iridescent goodness like who doesn't want glitter I don't know. Glitter is just like the herpes of arts and crafts, but it's like so amazing. Like when it's like that color. I don't know. Anyways, it's made by Greg, so I'd like to thank you, Greg. I wish I could get my face on one of these stickers. That'd be so cool. Just to like stick them on people. Like, oh look, made by Desi. Anyways, this next one is made by the Christmas line too, and this is the melting snowman. That is so cute. But well, don't tell me that's not adorable. It has like little chocolate chip eyes and whatnot. It smells weird. But it smells really, really good kind of weird. It's supposed to be like made with spice and cinnamon. I can smell the cinnamon right away. And like all the spices and cloves. Clove especially. But, I don't know. I think it's going to be a lot better in the bath. I'm going to probably break this into like two or three chunks. Like it's pretty big compared to the size of my hand. My hands are really small, but you know, it's, it, it's good. On the other hand, this is a Halloween product, and this is called the Lord of Misrule. 
No, let me say that again. And this one is called The Lord of Misrule. Much better. Anyways, it smells really, 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 really good. When I ordered this, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because like the main ingredient was like patchouli. I like patchouli, but I'm not like, oh my gosh, I can't live without patchouli. And it was also made up with black pepper. Who, who makes this stuff? So weird. Be quiet, it was a good idea, okay? And so, <laughs> it actually smelled more like vanilla and patchouli. But it's, a, it's just like a really relaxing scent. It's supposed to turn, it's green right now, but it's supposed to turn like a wine magenta-y color. You can see it has like little bits of color in it and stuff. I haven't tried this one yet. I'm guaranteed going to crack it in half because I'm like that. And I mean, why would I, w this thing is huge. This thing like compared to the size of my face. It's a giant bath bomb. You're never going to use this all in one. It's crazy. Anyways. The next item is actually from the Christmas thing too. And this is the famous Christmas Eve bubble bar. Now everyone's like raving about this. Right next to the Snow Fairy. This was like the number one Christmas product. And I was like, okay, well thousands of people can't be wrong. Thousands of people can be wrong. Disclaimer. But... I got this anyway, and it smells really weird. That's probably because I don't like lavender. It smells a lot like lavender. But the more I smell it, the more I like it, which is odd. Actually, that happens a lot. Okay, it's pretty good by now. Yep, I'm liking this. It's a good scent. I don't know, it's supposed to be like their number one thing. I haven't tried it yet as you can see. It has like a little moon design which I think is cute too. And I'll probably use this before I go to bed some night in the bath because it's so like soothing with like the lavender. I just keep smelling this. I think like a whole segment of this video just me smelling this. I can do this in different ways too. Okay, I'm done. Anyways, this next thing I got is a sample, and it's the Volcano Foot Mask. And when I got this, I was like, oh, finally, a sample that isn't just soap, because I have, like, a bajillion different types of soap. I don't even know if I want to smell this right now. When you smell this, don't, don't ever get this for the smell, because it is horrible. It smells like someone took a campfire and not a good kind of campfire, like that crazy neighbor lady that burns her trash kind of fire smell. And it is just nasty. But it's really good for your feet. It makes your feet have like a tingly feeling to them, so I guess it does something. I don't know. Why should I care? It's a foot mask. On a lighter note, I'm not going to unwrap this. This is the Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. And I can smell this too, the wrapper. It smells like honey I washed the kids soap, which basically smells like honey and caramel. And it is so colorful. Look, it's like a little shooting star. It's a little dusty because it was in a box for a while. I don't know. Like pinks and all that pretty stuff. I'm excited. I'm probably going to cut this one in half too because like that's just a lot to use in one sitting. On the other hand... I have another bath bomb that I didn't use half of already, and this is the Fizz Banger. <laughs> I like that word, Fizz Banger. And it is kind of crumbly because it crumbles in half. It has an orange outside and like a blue center. And when I put this in the bath, it was amazing. Like it turned my water like a bright green color. And I love the scent of this. It smells like an apple pie. Probably because the main ingredients are like apple infusion and cinnamon. But it smells great and I really enjoyed it in the bath because you could just smell it the whole entire time and I gotta say it was a pretty colorful bath bomb and when you're watching Adventure Time on like your portable DVD player in the tub like something that smells as great as that is like just adds to the atmosphere anyways this is the Golden Wonder bath bomb 
And this actually has like a present inside of it. I'm probably gonna cut this in half and then use whatever the present is inside of it. You can hear it too. So I'm excited about that. It's supposed to like smell like champagne. It's the color of champagne, but I don't really think it smells like champagne. I don't know. I've never had champagne. Maybe it does smell like champagne. Maybe I'm just crazy. Probably. But it smells really citrusy, kind of like oranges. This has like a bajillion good reviews. They bring this back like every year along with the Christmas Eve bubble bar. And I'm really, really excited for this because it has a prize inside. Anything with a prize inside gets me excited. This, speaking of prizes inside, this is the secret Santa um, bath bomb. Yeah, bath ballistic thing. And you can actually get like three uses out of this because the prize inside of this one is also supposed to be used and this can be cut in half. So I'm gonna say like, this is huge. I'm probably gonna like make this into thirds. Like just take the roof off and then go like crack it in half. But it is actually designed after the first Lush shop in Poole, England, I believe. Anyways, just because we mentioned England, I'm now kicking into a British accent. Anyways, on the inside of this is supposed to be a prize, so you can't really hear this one. And the scent is called 29 High Street because it is the smell of the original Lush shop, which is all the scents combined. So there's like lots of good lavender scents and citrusy scents. Mmm, it smells really good actually. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I did. And I'm so excited to try this in the tub because it is so pretty. It's a little tiny house. Who wouldn't like to bathe with a chunk of a tiny house in your tub? Anyways, this is my next product and it's called Rose Jam. Well, it's like one fourth missing of a rose jam, I don't know. And it smells like baby powder and roses. A little bit of citrus maybe. It smells like Rose Argan body conditioner, which is why I got it, because I love Rose Argan body conditioner. And I put a chunk of this in the tub. It's actually a bubble bar. You can break in half. And it has like cocoa butter and stuff holding it together and whatnot. And you're supposed to use just one of you, like one of these in the tub. But I tried to use like half it and I got a butt ton of bubbles. And if you know me, a butt ton is bigger than a butt load. And don't ask me why. But it was so sweet smelling in the tub. I loved it. So I would definitely suggest oh, drop a piece of it trying this out, along with the yuzu and cocoa one, which is another bubble room, it's like orange, because they smell really good. And the last things I have to do are my soap. This is Mr. Punch, which makes me laugh because I have a friend whose last name is Punch. And <laughs> it smells really weird when you first smell it. You gotta like think these, pro these products breathe. It's like fine wine or something. But it smells kind of boozy, and that's because uh, it's punch. Not like Kool-Aid. We ain't talking no Kool-Aid. We talking like punch. Like at your Christmas party at work or something. And it's really fruity, but it's also kind of smells like candy. Like Christmas candy. I don't know what Christmas candy is supposed to smell like, but it smells like sugar. Huh? I tried this out last night, and it lathers really, really well. So for this and then my last soap is Angel's Delight this has sparkles in it which makes me so psyched to try this out I almost said excited that didn't work out too well anyways it has like pretty colors in it I didn't get like the prettiest piece but I don't really care it smells like pink lemonade pink lemonade and oranges yeah anyways it has like sparkles in it you probably can't I think like 80% of these products actually have sparkles in them. Like the Christmas Eve bubble bar has like a butt ton of glitter on it. Same thing with the Golden Wonder, like it is covered with glitter on the bottom of it. Which makes me excited because I love glitter. And yeah, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this horrendously long video about a Lush haul again. And hopefully I'll come up with some more material, but I don't really have that much of a life, so uh, probably not. Anyways, I guess I'll see you in the next Lush haul. Toodles!